We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Can you find a way in, Jack? We shouldn't stay out here. Any ideas how to get inside? The whole building's falling apart. There's gotta be an opening somewhere. Hey, I think I found a way in. Something you want to say, Nick? You work for Monarch. Have you ever heard of the zip code theory? No. Okay, what would you do if I told you that all of Monarch's plans may be centered around the numbers? Zero one one two two. I would go on living my life, probably with slightly less respect for you. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Come on, Will. What did you want me to find here? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note, it's directed. Me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking.
Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. But I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. You must have hit it here. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leads us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. Here goes nothing. What was that? It's fine. It actually worked. Okay, we activate the corridor next. Oh, Jesus, look at that thing go! It's a hell of a thing, huh? Jesus, look at this thing. One guy built all that? No way that's possible, man. It took me five months to build a shitty birdhouse. You think you had help? I'll bet a lot of guys got paid under the table to get this thing running. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Thank God. and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. 
You, um, seem to be taking all this surprisingly well. Don't get me wrong. This is weird as fuck, but it beats being back in that room with two asshats holding a gun to my head. Ah, uh, it's fair enough. Damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't. know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a Cronin research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul?
I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him. Find out what he knows, then get rid of him. They're all heart money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack. But that's far away in the past now. And I have a speech to prepare for. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it, all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder, you were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? It's all we needed. Thanks for showing up. Here, I thought this was gonna be a rescue. All right, there's a story here. You know a guy called Hatch? Serene's right-hand man. He was here. He gave me this big speech about how he wants to take down Paul. I hope you said no. I didn't trust him for a second. He set me loose anyways, told me to wait for an opening. I just gave you one. Appreciate it. What's it look like out there? 